In 2018, I quit my job and I decided to start freelancing for web design. And I'm now six years into my business. And during that time, I've never really given a ton of thought to SEO. I basically formed a strategy of I'm going to make helpful videos on YouTube. I'm going to turn those YouTube videos into blog posts. And that's my whole like marketing strategy. And that's been really good for lead generation. YouTube has been very good. I get a few clicks from Google as well. But because I have so much content out there now, I think it's time six years later to actually start optimizing my pages. And the hope then is that all of my content that's out there starts creeping up in the search results and hopefully more people can find me. Now, the reason I've never really deep dived into SEO before is because one, I haven't wanted to pay someone in order to do it for me. Uh, I run a very lean business and that's just not where I want to spend my dollars. And two, I haven't really known where to start in order to do it myself. My current strategy has been working okay, so I've never really gone deeper than that. But that's where a tool called SEO Space has come into play, and I'm using it to start actually optimizing all of my pages for SEO. If you've used WordPress, they have a plugin called Yoast, where it basically gives you like a checklist that you can follow to make sure that your pages are optimized for SEO. And so that's exactly what SEO Space is. It's an extension that you can download, you can scan your pages, and then it'll give you action items that you need to take care of in order to optimize your pages. So I quickly wanna show you this tool that I've been using uh, in case it might be helpful for your business as well. So the great thing about SEO Space is they do have a free plan, so you don't even need to pay to use the service. Although some of the features that we cover today might be premium features, so make sure you check out the pricing page uh, to see which features you can use for free and which ones you might have to pay for. But basically when you initialize the plugin, you can run a scam, run a scam of a keyword, and then you can view recommended pages. This is a pretty cool feature. So based on, uh, I believe probably my uh, Google console search results is looking at pages that it believes I should focus on optimizing in order to maximize my traffic growth. So a pretty cool feature there. Um, but instead of that, you can also just run one-off scans for the page that you're on. So right here, I'm on my one-on-one -on -one training page. Um, and so I can run a scan and I can also run a scan with a keyword. So if I wanted to run a scan with a keyword, I could enter in a search term that I wanna see how well this page ranks for. So that's a really sweet option. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and run a basic scan. And after you run a basic scan, it'll show up in your dashboard. So I've also done a site-wide scan where it scanned all the pages on my site. And so I can see all of the results from my last scan. So since I've already scanned the training page, we can go ahead and view those scan results and I'll go ahead and view it on the live URL. So now it'll open that page and then it'll also trigger the scan results from my last scan. So I wanna show you the results from my previous scan, then we're going to make these changes and then we're going to rescan the page and we'll see how well we improve the SEO for this page. So this is my one-on-one -on -one Squarespace training or call service where I hop on Zoom calls with clients. And right now you can see it has a score of 38 and uh, it gives all these action items that I need to do. So my page doesn't have a meta description and then it's zero characters long because it doesn't exist. The URL word count is one and it recommends between three and six. The images, uh, there's three on this page that don't have alt text. Um, and then two of these images are greater than 250 kilobytes. My H1 is 20 characters and it needs to be longer between 40 and 60. Uh, I want it, they want me to make it longer between five and 12 words. Um, and then the good news is I only have one H1 on my page. And then for the SEO title, right now it's eight characters long. Apparently it's just training um, and need, it needs to be much longer than that. So the cool thing is once you scan your page, it gives you action items. So I know exactly what I need to do in order to improve the ranking of this page. So let's go ahead and we'll go through this list and um, then we'll rescan and we'll see, you know, what the improvement is. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this page in the editor. And that way I'll be able to make changes as we go through the list. Okay, so my site has opened in the editor. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on the plugin hover, and that'll bring up our scan for this page. It's going to load the previous scan results. And so now I can make these changes on the live site. So for the meta description, I think I'm just going to take this paragraph text here because this is like pretty descriptive. Um, and I think that's a good representation of what this page is about. So I'll go to the SEO tab and I'll go ahead and put that in for the description. And it says it's 14 characters too long. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. And then I also need to update the uh, SEO title. Um, right now it just says training. Okay, so I've settled on this for my SEO title. Okay, for my meta description, I now have that in there. For the URL, right now the, the word count is one because it's just training. It recommends between three and six, so I'm probably still going to get a bad score, but I am going to, I do feel like training is not uh, as descriptive as it could be. So I'm gonna change this to Squarespace training. And now that I've changed the URL for this page, um, I'm going to have to do a redirect since the training page no longer works, but it's definitely been indexed by now. Um, so I'm gonna look for the URL mappings panel. And we're going to go training is now going to be Squarespace training, and that's a permanent redirect, so I'm going to do 301. Okay, so now we have our old page painting, uh, pointing to our new page. Okay, and then I'll pull up the scan result again. So I remember that I also needed to add alt text to some of these images. There we go. So now all the images on this page should have alt text. Um, so I will go ahead and exit. And let's see, okay, so the meta description, we updated the URL, the images now have alt text. I probably can get the images lower than 250 kilobytes. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna have a ding there, but that's okay. Um, my H1, so it's three words, make it between five and 12. You know what, I think I'm going to leave that as well and just get a ding there. So you can see, like, even if I don't make all the changes that it recommends, I'm not going to get a perfect score, but it's helping me identify issues and just kind of think about, you know, my SEO more strategically. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just finish up there. So I'm going to now that we've made all those changes, let me just make sure, okay, this is all saved. Um, I can get out of there, get out of that. So now we're on my training page here. So let me reload the page. And now that I've reloaded the page with the changes that I've made, I'm gonna go ahead and rescan this page. And hopefully we get a higher score than what we had before, which was, I believe, 38. Okay, so I got an even worse score, and that's because I changed the URL here, so which isn't, it means it's not indexed because this is a new URL. But we did the redirect, so if anyone goes to training, they'll be redirected to this URL, so that's fine, but this is pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and click this button here so we can ask Google to index this page. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and request indexing. So that's the nice thing, The when you set up this extension, it'll have you connect it to Google Search Console. And because I have it integrated, uh, I can now do this feature where it takes me right to the button to request indexing for this page. So great feature right there, uh, having the SEO extension communicate with Google Search Console makes things a lot easier. Okay. So we've requested indexing, that's perfect. Um, so really, I have a lower score, but I've addressed a lot of these issues. I still get a ding because my word count is two and not three, but I really think this is um, descriptive enough for the URL, so I'm not gonna worry about that. My H1 heading, again, technically it's not long enough, um, but I do think this is pretty descriptive for what I do, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is. 
my SEO title. Um, it's 49 characters long. Oh, dang, I need one more character. Okay, I'll probably go back and do that afterwards. Um, so then that'll improve the score there. For my images, uh, again, so these two are bigger than 250 kilobytes, but the reality is I don't want to crunch them too hard because I do, this is a pretty big image. Um, so I'm probably going to leave that as is. And then my meta description, oh, it's actually way too long. So I'm going to have to edit that down as well, but at least I have one now. So once I make the second round of edits, then the score should go, you know, much higher. Um, but hopefully this gave you a good preview at how the extension can work. And I love the dashboard feature where you can scan all of your pages and then see all of the scores here. You can um, also see, so I, I ran a audit on my homepage with the Squarespace CSS keyword. Um, and so that just kind of helped me see you know, how optimized my homepage was for this keyword. So really helpful tool just to get you started. It's one of the reasons that I didn't start is because I didn't know where to start. And so this tool has just been really massively helpful at just being a checklist of, okay, this is what you need to focus on. And it's been super helpful. Now, just so you know, I have not been paid for this review. Henry did hook me up with an agency plan so I could try some of those premium features and show them off for this video. Um, but it's only a three month trial. So after that, I will be paying for this myself. So just full disclosure, this is just a genuinely helpful tool that I wanted to share with you. And maybe it'll be helpful for your SEO strategy as well. And if you're interested in signing up for a free plan, you can check out the link in the description below. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and are looking for more Squarespace content like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.